Hello and welcome to CDD Academy and today's tutorial on the API, specifically API token generation. First of all, you can find many information regarding the API in our knowledge base. Shown here is the page on the introduction and table of contents. For the link, please see the comment section. Enable to have access to the API, you have to have a token. This token will be generated within your vault in your own settings. And it doesn't matter if you access the API via any of the programs such as NIME or Pipeline Pilot, Data Warrior or script-based languages. They all require the same type of token. So within your vault, go to settings in the top menu bar and under user, you will have the section of API keys. As extra level of security, it could be that you might have to log in once more. In this section, you will see your API keys listed. And to generate a new key, simply click on the add a new key feature. Name your key <clears throat> appropriately. And you will have the choice of read only and read write. In context of most programs that offered a bulk export, read only is sufficient. For example, for Data Warrior, we click the save button which gives us the token up here. Please copy this token and keep it safe. You will not be able to retrieve it later. Keep it safe means treat this as if it were a password. Having this token will not necessarily mean that you have API access. So should you have trouble or you don't know if you do or do not, please contact your Vault administrator, who in turn might have to contact us at CDD support. Thank you for watching this video on token generation for the API.